Hello lot of people, what is going on? It's Puckington here, or Puck, whatever you want to call me. Um, generally I'm not really serious, but today I really think I need to be because I really want to portray this message more seriously and I want people to understand it as well without jumping the gun or um, posting hate or whatever because in no way am I defending what happened or condoning what happened. This is to everyone who was fueled with anger because of the raw, brutal video that was posted recently on YouTube featuring six or seven boys uh, attacking an innocent kid. First of all, I do not condone what happened to this innocent kid. I'm strongly against violence. I've always walked away no matter what. Not because I can't fight, not because I'll lose, but because I can't bring myself to attack another person. Restraint is the most force I'll ever use. I firmly believe an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. But it is sad to see that kids do these kind of things, that kids could even have the guts to film this and feel a sense of accomplishment with it. To even stoop low enough to outnumber one innocent kid who refuses to fight. I find the video sickening and as a form of control I refuse to watch it again. But I know it will only bring anger and fury to my eyes. In some ways, it's only torturing me. But I want to get one thing straight. I ask people to come back to their senses, to get back on track from their uncontrollable anger and hate, to think and understand the situation. Of course it was a brutal video, something a lot of people without a doubt find hard to watch. Makes you wonder why porn or explicit material can't be uploaded to YouTube, yet they keep a raw video of someone being viciously beaten. Even so, allow it for all ages to witness. Unfortunately, this kind of thing happens on most probably an everyday basis, just unrecorded. And even worse, people are killed in the same situation. As I said, I do not condone what happened in this video, and I believe a violent retaliation will only resolve, or oh sorry, will not resolve anything except more anger and hate. Saying that, I find it quite sad and sickening, as David So Comedy, a fellow YouTuber, put. It's sad people think retribution in the form of violence is justice because it really makes you reflect on this world. If I film the kids doing the beating, being tortured, raped or murdered on camera and showed the world, does that seem civilised? Humane? Right? Because obviously these kids would be crying for mercy just as the innocent kid was in the video. That does not mean that he did not spark the attack in any way himself. Again, that is not something I condone, but it just shows you that there are quite a lot of people out there with uncontrollable emotions and of the same mindset as the people who committed the crime in the first place. You say there is no reason these people should have done what they done, regardless of what the kid done in the first place. But yet you create a reason within yourself that you can do the same. If we want to stop acts like this from happening time and time again, maybe we should soothe out our anger and find other non-violent ways to tackle the situation because it hurts to know that all we want in life is revenge. How can we move forward in life or as a human race if all we want to do is go back and repeat the acts we so want to stop? All I ask is that you think about what you're saying because deep down it's not what you really want to do.